Hello everyone, it's Chuck Thunder. We're back with another episode of my Let's Play Roleplayer series here on Elk Mountain. As you guys remember the last episode, we harvested our grass and we sold all the grass and got a bunch of money. And I buy a bunch, we got like maybe $18,000 total. Um, that's the maximum we reached. But what we wanted to start doing in the future is we want to start investing in a way to make silage. Because if we're getting grass, we gotta be able to convert it to something more valuable. So, we not, may not be able to afford to put all of the grass we get off our field into silage, but we can put it, some of it into silage until we get a chance to buy a bailing machine and a wrapper. So in the meantime, um, or, or we could even do a, a, a silage pit. So that's exactly what we did. We bought ourselves a small silage pit, which I'm gonna go ahead and clear these bushes out of the way. A small, small, small silage pit something for us to just get started I'm putting in some we might be able to put one load in here and turn it into silage and that, that would help a lot but while we're at this we'll go ahead and smooth out some of this grass here That's going to be our new silage pit area, right there. Because we really don't need to, we really don't need to have a all be grass. So that's one of the things we're going to invest, we want to start doing with our next uh, harvest, which how close are we to our next harvest? We might have to wait a little while because we just finished cutting. We're at growth stage two or three, so we're about two seasons away. Um, I also wanted to be able to start doing something with my trees around my property. Now, I don't really have many options when it comes to dealing with them. I mean, I don't have a way to tow it back and forth right now. Nothing to load it into, no trailer. And these pieces are going to be funky pieces. So I'd rather not load them into a trailer if I can help it. But I may be able to start mincing them up into tiny pieces. Oh, I have some sale pieces. So let's take a look to see if there's any way we can start grinding them up into wood chips. And I don't know if I have any option here to do that. Let's see. Mm, Grassland care, chainsaws, forestry equipment. We have a forestry logger trailer. We have a way to drag logs. We have mulchers here with stumps, which we may need to lease at some point. There's our mulcher. That's yeah, not going to be worth it. Mm, let's see, is there any other way we can mulch? Any other way we can mulch our stuff? Uh, where am I going to find these sorts of options? Let's check. Is there anything in construction tools? Oh, nope, nope, nope. Silo extensions and sheds. Production, let's see. This allows me to put, oh, okay, that'd be fun if I can get that. It's a little expensive, but it allows me to turn mulch into electricity, which I can then sell. A bakery, I won't be able to do anything with that. Gold smelter, we are not ready for any of that yet. Can't do anything with gold yet, but this, what about generators? No, we can't really generate anything yet. Greenhouse, debris crusher, if we were to do stone, selling points. I don't think I have a way to make anything like that happen. Because it seems like the only options for forestry equipment. Here's our only grinding wood chipper. I don't think we have any other ways to make wood chips. Let's see. Forestry machines. And here's another wood chipper. Nothing, nothing that we could use to make wood chips. Seems. So we're not there at that point yet. It'd be nice to be able to do something with the trees. I have a felled tree over here that I did cut. And it's kind of just resting on the ground over here. Rotting away with nothing for me to do with it. I'd love to be able to do something with it, but I can't. Too heavy. Can't. Don't have a way to mulch it. Don't want to carry it away. It's just, it's, it's just not ideal. So, we're going to leave the trees here, 
maybe we plant our own trees one day. I would do so long. But what we could look into doing. So I got the front loader attachment for this truck, for this, for this tractor. What did the front loader cost me? So let's look at the small tractors. And grab this one. And when we built it, it had a front loader attacher for John Deere front loader attacher. So only John Deere front loader attachers. So let's go to front loader attachers. 9500 for the John Deere front loader attacher. Hmm. That'll make us poor. But that would that would work. We'd have about a thousand bucks left over. And then the question would be be able to buy our all but. Yeah, not really. Really close though. I thought about maybe doing that. So we tethered this into hay last time. I guess we don't need the tether anymore because we're going to convert it to grass and to silage. We can sell the grass instead of turning it to hay. That would probably be beneficial. But I don't know. Which one of these is the tether? I think we might need the money for the tether. Then let us get our front loader. Yeah. Well, first, let's get a tractor over there. All right, everyone. We just got finished talking with um, the salesman here and he said that he's more than willing to let us give this a test drive with a little bit of a down payment because we would love to get ourselves on this um, material that we need to start working on digging and maybe uh, getting some gravel and bringing that to some places because we know some people have a use for gravel in this area for their rock beds to um, where they park the vehicles and with the mounds around here there is definitely a a uh, plethora of stone around here. So they said to us we could lease the vehicle with a short down payment, uh, the, the pieces we need, um, to just make sure that they fit on our equipment. Uh, we are hoping that they fit on our equipment because they are John Deere pieces. And uh, he said that we can lease them to test them out, and then if we like them, we can purchase them at a discounted rate. If and only if we do one thing for him. And that. Uh, would be get him what he needs and look at that we have what we need um, and get him what he needs um, because he wanted a small load of gravel himself so or, before we get out of here we will need to buy ourselves a trailer for the purposes of doing what he wants he said we could borrow his trailer because he wants it to be dropped off at his property so that's what we're gonna do um, and once we get that trailer from him we got to get it uh, going um, and bring it back to his place which is actually surprisingly across the way from our home uh, he owns the gas station over there as well and he says he needs a load of the gravel in his back area to uh, load some other vehicles so what we're gonna do is we are going to borrow his trailer so once we get his trailer loaded up we will bring you over to our property to give bring him some gravel All right, everybody, we are back. We have our neighbor's trailer that he uh, uses to transport small equipment pieces back and forth uh, from his dealership to other purchasers. Oh, we hit a bump. And he just wants a small trailer load of uh, gravel to go with his um, property there so that he can put some other equipment. He says he also would love to make a deal with us. I'm seeing that we are working right across the field from his gas station. That he has a used equipment um, uh, sale point right across the street from us at that gas station. He says we're more than welcome to come by and take a look around um, on his property. And, you know, if something spots our fancy, he says we could offer a cash offer to him to purchase some broken equipment that we can repair. So, if and when we finally come around to doing that, we may end up getting some equipment uh, from him down the line 
We have a bunch of new equipment uh, right now, and we're just trying to do him a solid by getting him this rock load. It won't take us very long to get what he needs and bringing it over to his property. And as soon as we do, um, we will uh, we, we will uh, see what he his offer is to us so that we can purchase this uh, front loader attacher and bucket for cheap. Um, starting to think now that once we start loading up with some gravel though this front loader is going to get very heavy um, and we may we may need to attach a weight to the back so we'll see if some of our own equipment can get us by and there's his property you can see there's already some vehicles uh, broken down on his property that he says that he's always trying to repair and sell for cheap but he says he got into selling vehicles because his vehicles have been, um, he's always had a project going on and he says the projects are taking more time than he can sell them so he just wanted to sell new vehicles as part of his um, plan and then on the side sell the, the used ones. Alright so let's go ahead and drop our trailer here and we are going to get started on getting what he suggested that we do. He said he needed some gravel, so that's what we're going to get with our truck and tractor here. And we're going to activate. So, gravel, we're going to have to dig around our property a bit to find it, but we have a decent gravel area here, so let's, let's turn this little area here into our gravel area. And there we are. Okay, we've got some gravel. Okay, the tractor's holding that okay. Now, see how much this trailer can hold. So that's what he asked for, was what trailer's worth. Okay, we got one scoop. It's 1,000 liters. careful not to dig ourselves into a hole that we can't get ourselves out of. I thought it was a little interesting that he asked us to pay to rent this equipment and bring him stuff from our property, but this deal better be good, because this whole entire setup is going to cost me, if I bought new, around 12,000 12, bucks, and he's only let us rent it. thousand liters in there Let's see if we can fit any more in there if not we'll bring this over to him even if he can't fit it in there we'll give him a little extra just in case because if I know anything about spreading stone for gravel driveways is that there's usually never enough all right that's what I figured it is full it's all right we'll give it to him for him a little extra and he said he wanted it in his driveway area so we'll see how that works out but we're just gonna drop this trailer off to him right next to his property there yeah you can see that the gravel is a little oh we got lucky and we took out a stop sign Hopefully that he uh, will forgive us for that, but yeah, you can see he's a little lot of gravel on the side of his yard here, and some grass poking through. So let's let's go ahead and drop this off for him here. And we'll do him a little favor. Let's change our discharge. Discharge, we want to flatten the ground, smooth it. Alright, here we are. Alright, well, I 
let's see. We're gonna paint his ground the gravel. everybody well, that'll be the end of that now let's go see the deal that he's gonna offer us for purchasing these we'll be right back check on seeing what he wants to offer us for this see you soon all right everybody so what they offered me was to spend all my money but what he would do is reimburse me for the amount of the stone plus 50 percent so we are going to go look at what gravel costs right now and we're going to give him the price of what stone costs and that's what he's going to reimburse me for because we're left with like virtually no money so gravel there is worth $262 so we gave him 4,000 we gave him 4,000 liters so 50% of that extra so that's what he's going to pay us so let's take a look if he's got a $262 times 50% so really it's times 1.5 so he's going to pay us $393 per thousand liters so he gave, uh, we gave him 4,000 liters. So he's going to give us $1,572 back. Pretty decent. So let's go ahead and do that. How do we do that now? Okay, so we're going to add, we said $1,572, so we're going to set it equal to that, so we're going to add it, $1,572, and remove money. So there we are, we managed to get what we needed out of this, and now we have brand new equipment for around, reimbursed us, plus 50% of the stone. So, I'm wondering if we can get a trailer with this money, because trailers are, are super important. No, we can't. We will not be able to afford one. That may be something we have to lease until we make our money, so let's do that. This holds one and a half thousand liters. We might just continue to borrow his little trailer. Um, well, that holds twice as much, and it's only a little bit more expensive. So we're going to go ahead and lease this trailer. And we're going to go fill it up with some gravel. And then we're going to go sell some gravel. Yeah, this going to be a lot, a lot better to go with. Alright. 
We'll see you back uh, once this thing is loaded with up some gravel and see what kind of money we make with a entire trailer load of gravel. Because if we can buy this trail the trailer outright, that would be nice. We'll check with you later. All right, everybody. So. Since our trailer can only hold so much weight, that's kind of the problem here. We were able to give the get around 3,286 liters into it because gravel is very heavy and this trailer can only hold so much weight. We are pretty much at our max capacity when it comes to this. So we are going to have to take a bucket with us too um, in order to get the 4,286 that we'd like to get dropped off over at cell point so now the cell point is at the train station we're gonna have to drive over to there in order to sell it and we'll have to rent the train for a brief moment in order to sell but what this will do we'll put some money in our pockets so as we saw 4,000 liters got us 1500 bucks so will this and I'm just around that so we'll do this for a little while we'll grind away and we'll get our money's worth and we'll see you guys in the next episode when it's time to harvest our grass um, right now we're just kind of doing this until we have enough money to purchase the trailer outright which was 4400 bucks um, we're just leasing it right now so we can get to that $4,400 well, once we've done and are done leasing it we will buy it outright and we will continue to do our work with it because it's a neat, it's a neat little trailer it'll do our small farm work and we'll be able to do what we need to do um, this far going forward so thanks everybody for stopping in and watching uh, again subscriber contracts I always look forward to them thankfully we had a helpful gentleman across the way that we realized that he is our uh, neighbor and sells a lot of equipment so he gave us a good deal on the new equipment and we now know in the future we can purchase used equipment from him um, at a discounted price too so we'll be on the lookout for some used equipment um, on his farm or on his, uh, on his farm or on his gas station plot and we'll, we'll check in with you guys next uh, episode when we have a full field of grass and several thousand bucks in our pocket from moving some dirt moving some gravel alright guys take it easy